The history of humanity on the African continent stands as one of the most extensive among all land masses, dating back approximately four million years. Many scientists posit that humanity's origins trace back to Africa, making it a rich repository of human history. This continent is a veritable treasure trove of astonishing discoveries, offering continual fascination to this day, especially when considering the intriguing narratives presented in various videos. Here, we present 10 remarkable findings in Africa that promise to captivate your interest. In the mysterious depths of the Congo jungle lies a captivating enigma, the lost city of Zynga. For centuries, this ancient metropolis, once teeming with life, has remained veiled in secrecy. Early European explorers first noted its existence while mapping the African interior, sparking spirited debates among historians and archaeologists. Numerous expeditions have ventured forth in pursuit of Zynga, yielding only limited success. However, recent advancements in satellite imagery and technology have unveiled potential remnants of this city, reigniting curiosity. Archaeologists have unearthed artifacts and structures that hint at the existence of an advanced civilization that once thrived there. The origins of Zynga continue to baffle, with some experts speculating that it was constructed by a prehistoric African culture possessing extraordinary construction and engineering expertise. Among the ruins stand impressive stone structures adorned with intricate carvings and artwork, providing glimpses into the lives of the city's inhabitants. Yet the abrupt abandonment of Zynga remains a perplexing enigma, with theories ranging from natural disasters to internal conflicts or invasions. Despite ongoing exploration, the full narrative of Zynga may forever elude us, leaving behind its eerie, reclaimed ruins as a poignant testament to the relentless march of time and the inexorable forces of nature. Cobalt, a greatly desired mineral essential for various uses such as heat-resistant coatings, maintains its hold on the Democratic Republic of Congo DRC, as the world's top producer. However, the hidden consequences of this dominance are deeply troubling. In the quest for cobalt, countless individuals have relocated to remote regions in search of job opportunities promising decent wages. Tragically, the mining of cobalt has evolved into a modern-day form of enslavement, with mine owners reaping substantial profits while disregarding human rights. Shockingly, a significant 30% of mineral extraction takes place in small-scale mines, characterized by perilous conditions and ongoing violations. Children endure labor under the blazing sun, and injuries and fatalities haunt the hazardous underground tunnels. As concerns mount, human rights organizations condemn companies that neglect proper machinery and safety protocols. However, halting such production proves challenging due to the pervasive poverty that compels many Congolese to prioritize income sources, even at the expense of their well-being. According to scientific theories influenced by Darwin's evolutionary principles, humans are believed to have evolved from monkeys through a gradual process of evolution. Our closest relatives are chimpanzees, with numerous species identified and an average height of approximately 150 centimeters for male chimpanzees. However, an intriguing revelation surfaced in the Congo, challenging the conventional understanding. National Geographic reported the sensational discovery of a new species of chimpanzees in 2003. Located in the Billy Forest of northern Congo, these primates appeared to exhibit characteristics reminiscent of hybrid creatures, blending features of gorillas and chimpanzees. Congolese locals described them as remarkably large, reaching heights of up to 180 centimeters, displaying immense strength capable of overpowering even lions. These newfound primates possessed a physique akin to gorillas, walked on two legs, and built nests on the ground rather than in trees. Intriguingly, they did not coexist with gorillas and had dietary habits more akin to chimpanzees. Shelley Williams, a primate ecologist, encountered these extraordinary chimpanzees firsthand in the forest. Initially appearing ready to attack, they approached her carefully, examined her, and then departed without aggression. Local residents noted distinct behavioral differences in the Bili chimpanzees, particularly their curious observation of hunters before withdrawing, as if recognizing a shared kinship. 
Ongoing research aims to unravel the nature of these unique chimpanzees, exploring possibilities such as them being large individuals of the chimpanzee species, hybrids of gorillas and chimpanzees, or potentially representing an entirely new species of great apes. If the latter holds true, their discovery would mark a significant zoological milestone of the 21st century. Deep within Congo's folklore, tales of a formidable reptilian presence have ensnared the imaginations of the local population. According to age-old legends, the perilous swamps near Lake Lokawala serve as the habitat for a dread-inducing creature named Muhammad. This elusive beast, said to possess an astonishing body length of 15 meters, conceals itself within the murky depths, patiently awaiting unsuspecting prey. Its strikes, marked by jaw-dropping force, ensnare victims with its enormous jaws. Notably, Muhammad defies conventional classification, with physical attributes that deviate from any known animal or reptile. Interestingly, cryptozoologists ponder whether Muhammad could be an extraordinary relic from the past, a freshwater survivor from the era of mosasaurs, a now-extinct group of marine reptiles. Alternatively, some scientists suggest a lineage tracing back to prehistoric crocodiles such as Danasuchis or Sarcosuchus. Although direct sightings of Muhammad remain elusive, the indigenous Babangi tribe maintains a steadfast belief in its existence, avoiding specific areas around Lake Lokawala associated with this enigmatic and fearsome creature. Scattered across our planet's vast expanses, megalithic structures serve as enigmatic testaments to ancient civilizations. From England's iconic Stonehenge to lesser-known sites in Africa, these awe-inspiring structures crafted from massive stones leave us in awe. Despite the intrigue, the origins and purposes of these megaliths remain shrouded in mystery, tantalizing the minds of scientists and historians. What perplexes researchers the most is the realization that these remarkable feats of construction were accomplished during an era when primitive tools were the norm, making their creation seemingly impossible. As a result, theories connecting megaliths to extraterrestrial civilizations have emerged. Although substantial evidence supporting such claims is yet to be found, the question of where these intricate structures truly originated from continues to baffle modern humans, fueling our fascination with the ancient past and the wonders it holds. Numerous hypotheses have been put forth to elucidate the purpose of the megaliths, ranging from celestial observatories to sacred sites. Yet no definitive consensus has been reached, and speculations even extend to the possibility of a technologically advanced lost civilization, potentially of extraterrestrial origin. Ongoing archaeological endeavors continue to unveil fresh insights into the historical backdrop of the Congo's megaliths, progressively illuminating fragments of their enigmatic narrative. However, the complete tale behind these intriguing monuments remains elusive, with their true intent destined to remain a tantalizing enigma. These megaliths stand as enduring testaments to the enigmatic ancient past of the Congo jungle, intriguing and captivating visitors and researchers alike with their cryptic origins and concealed mysteries. Beneath the dense vegetation and thriving undergrowth of the Congo jungle lies an intriguing enigma, a vast and intricate network of underground tunnels. This captivating discovery has fascinated researchers and explorers for generations, provoking speculation about their origin, purpose, and the enigmatic individuals who crafted them. Some theories suggest that these tunnels were constructed by a lost civilization that once thrived in the Congo region, utilizing them for transportation, trade, or as protective havens during times of natural calamities or conflicts. Other hypotheses propose their use as an interconnected irrigation system or as ventilation passages for subterranean dwellings. The remarkable craftsmanship and engineering feats required to fashion such an extensive tunnel system, particularly when considering the limited tools and methods available to ancient builders, have led to conjecture about the involvement of advanced technologies or even extraterrestrial influences. Despite extensive exploration and study, the true extent of these ancient underground passages remains elusive, with many tunnels collapsing or becoming blocked over the course of centuries. 
The risks associated with navigating the dark, confined spaces, coupled with the presence of venomous creatures and other dangers, pose significant challenges to further investigation. Nonetheless, the enigmatic allure of the Congo jungle's underground tunnels continues to captivate the imagination of researchers and adventurers. As our understanding of this subterranean world expands, we may one day unravel the secrets surrounding their origins and purpose, illuminating a captivating chapter of human history that has long remained concealed beneath the jungle's verdant embrace. Within the dense and mysterious Congo jungle, an array of captivating creatures, both known and unknown, call it home. Among the intriguing discoveries are the accounts of giant spiders, the stuff of chilling tales. Referred to as Jabafofi, these colossal arachnids have been described by local tribes and intrepid explorers as being the size of a dinner plate, with legs spanning an impressive six feet in length. According to the narratives, these giant spiders intricately weave enormous webs between trees, spanning significant distances. The reported strength of their webs is such that they are capable of ensnaring small animals and unwitting humans who happen upon them. According to local legends, Jabafofi possesses a venomous bite, ensuring its prey is consumed within the spider's secretive lair. While some researchers attribute these stories to folklore embellishments or misidentifications of existing spider species, others remain fascinated by the prospect of an undiscovered arachnid dwelling in the heart of the Congo. The sheer vastness and inaccessibility of the jungle have hindered comprehensive surveys, leaving the existence of these giant Congo spiders open to speculation and intrigue. Within the depths of the Congo jungle, alongside its awe-inspiring wildlife and natural marvels, lies a realm of hidden perils. This lush tropical environment serves as an ideal breeding ground for a multitude of dangerous diseases, casting a shadow of risk upon travelers and researchers alike. Among these hazards, Ebola stands as a notorious affliction, inflicting fever, hemorrhaging, and devastating consequences since the 1970s, with recent outbreaks as recent as 2021. Transmitted through contact with bodily fluids, the virus poses a particular threat to those handling infected patients or animal remains. Malaria, a rampant health concern, manifests itself with alarming frequency as the Congo bears the weight of some of the highest infection rates worldwide. Mosquito-borne, this disease brings forth fever, chills, and flu-like symptoms, carrying the potential for fatality without prompt intervention. Additional deadly diseases, including yellow fever, sleeping sickness, and dengue fever, further haunt the recesses of the Congo jungle, afflicting victims with severe symptoms and necessitating urgent medical attention to avert dire complications. The risks imposed by these ailments are amplified by the region's remote and unforgiving terrain, which hampers access to medical care and transport to treatment facilities. Moreover, the presence of armed conflict exacerbates the challenges faced in combating disease outbreaks. Despite the perils engendered by these deadly pathogens, dedicated researchers and healthcare professionals persist in their tireless pursuit of effective treatments and preventive measures. From genetic exploration of the Ebola virus to the development of novel malaria vaccines, endeavors are underway to mitigate the hazards associated with these afflictions and enhance the well-being of those inhabiting and traversing the Congo jungle. Scattered throughout diverse pockets of the Congo jungle, intriguing stone circles have emerged, perplexing researchers and capturing the imaginations of those fortunate enough to encounter them. These enigmatic formations, comprised of large stones meticulously arranged in perfect circles or other geometric patterns, hint at the existence of a sophisticated ancient culture that once thrived in the region. The true purpose behind these stone circles remains shrouded in mystery, giving rise to various theories, including their use as ceremonial or religious sites, or even as astronomical observatories for celestial tracking. 
The impeccable precision and craftsmanship displayed in their construction suggest an advanced knowledge of engineering, mathematics, and astronomy, challenging our understanding of the Congo's enigmatic past. Diligent researchers continue to study these perplexing stone circles, striving to unravel their origins and discern the identity of their creators. As further information is gradually unveiled, these stone circles within the Congo jungle serve as poignant reminders of the intricate and captivating history that lies hidden beneath the lush foliage, patiently awaiting discovery. Amidst the countless enigmas and captivating folklore woven within the Congo jungle, the tale of an ethereal African Atlantis emerges as one of the most enthralling. Legend speaks of a submerged city resting beneath the tranquil waters of the Congo River, a once thriving metropolis steeped in culture and wisdom, now veiled in the mists of time. This mythical city, believed to have flourished with majestic palaces, temples, and repositories of ancient knowledge, tantalizes explorers, historians, and archaeologists alike. The fabled African Atlantis is said to have housed a highly advanced civilization, surpassing their contemporaries in knowledge and enlightenment. The precise reason behind the city's submersion remains a subject of debate, ranging from natural calamities like earthquakes or tsunamis to divine retribution for perceived transgressions. Despite tireless quests, concrete evidence of the submerged city eludes discovery, causing skepticism among some who dismiss it as legend or embellishment. Yet the vast uncharted expanse of the Congo jungle and its waterways leaves room for speculation and optimism that vestiges of this ancient civilization may still lie concealed beneath the depths. The enigmatic allure of the ghostly African Atlantis persists, captivating the imaginations of those who encounter its tale, offering glimpses into a lost world beneath the enigmatic waters of the Congo River. During the exploration of the temple of King Amenhotep III, three archaeologists made a striking discovery. They unearthed a trove of statues, each standing at a height of 1.9 meters, depicting the fearsome lion goddess Sekhmet. This deity was intricately linked with themes of war and vengeance, often portrayed as showering her adversaries with blazing arrows while engaging in the slaughter of humanity. These elements form the core of mythology. As time progresses, further excavations continue to bring to light additional artifacts. This assembly of tributes to a profoundly intimidating and wrathful deity may eventually tally up to as many as 730 statues. This raises a pertinent query. What motivated the significant investment of manpower and resources required to craft such a vast number of effigies? Undoubtedly, the substantial drain on the king's coffers must have been considerable. Interestingly, the vast majority of these statues bear conspicuous signs of defacement and deliberate destruction, primarily targeting the head and visage of Sekhmet. This could have served as a symbolic display of human authority prevailing over the goddess, an assertion of dominance that left behind a multitude of sculpted forms in her formidable wake. The Rosetta Stone, an ancient relic currently housed within the esteemed British Museum, held within it the solution to unlocking the mysteries of an ancient civilization. This remarkable artifact bore an inscription in three enigmatic scripts, Egyptian hieroglyphs, Demotic, and Ancient Greek. Within its inscriptions lay the story of King Ptolemy V and his temple's support in Memphis, Egypt. Centuries passed, and the hieroglyphs remained an inscrutable enigma until the efforts of Thomas Young, an English physicist, who managed to identify certain sounds of a royal name embedded within them. However, it was the French scholar Jean-Francois Champollion who ultimately cracked the code. His work unveiled not only the phonetic sounds of the Egyptian language, but also the history of a long-forgotten civilization. Discovered during Napoleon Bonaparte's Egyptian campaign in July 1799 near the Nile Delta, the Rosetta Stone found its way to the British Museum following Napoleon's downfall. It laid out a decree issued by a council of priests, affirming the royal cult of the young Ptolemy V, with copies distributed to significant Egyptian temples. Since its acquisition by the British Museum in 1802, 
the Rosetta Stone has remained a steadfast historical artifact, with only a brief interlude during World War I, when it was safely housed beneath the streets of London. Serving as a mesmerizing link between bygone eras and the present, its discovery and subsequent decipherment unveiled a treasury of knowledge. As a result, it stands today as an extraordinary and revered object, cherished by both history enthusiasts and scholars for its unparalleled significance. Situated within the grandest pyramid of the Giza Trio, an edifice dedicated to Pharaoh Khufu, a concealed chamber has provoked puzzlement among observers for an extensive period. This confined enclave, spanning a length of 100 feet, aligns meticulously with the same inclined axis as the one that intersects the king's chamber. The revelation of this enigmatic space was facilitated through the utilization of the scanned pyramids project. Employing a technique adept at detecting cosmic rays for the purpose of identifying voids within the intricate architecture of monumental monolithic structures. This groundbreaking method, known as experimental muon radiography, adeptly captures minuscule subatomic particles that detach and expel energy as cosmic radiation incessantly bombards us from the vast expanse of space. Intriguingly, this phenomenon is so pronounced that an estimated half a dozen muons traverse through your smartphone screen each second. This discovery heralds a momentous milestone, representing the foremost instance of a substantial internal structure being unveiled within an ancient Egyptian pyramid since the 1800s. It serves as a poignant reminder that even when we felt we had grasped a comprehensive understanding, the Great Pyramid still retains numerous concealed facets, akin to cards clasped closely to its enigmatic heart. The magnificent Great Pyramid of Giza, standing as a symbol of awe, has unveiled a hidden potential to revolutionize technology. An international coalition of physicists embarked on a monumental journey to explore the pyramid's mysteries, and their efforts yielded remarkable results. This ancient wonder possesses the astounding capability to concentrate electromagnetic energy to an extraordinary degree within both its core and beneath its colossal base. Published within the esteemed pages of the Journal of Applied Physics, these revelations foreshadow an exciting era of scientific progress. Imagine ultra-efficient solar cells, sensors of incredible potency, and nanoparticles ranging from 1 to 100 nanometers, all deriving inspiration from the enigmatic grandeur of the pyramid. Armed with cutting-edge theoretical physics, the collaborative team hailing from ITMO University and the Laser Zentrum delved profoundly into the pyramid's interactions with electromagnetic radiation. Their diligent efforts unveiled its astonishing capacities, spanning from radio waves to gamma rays. Andre Illusion, a notable author of the study, radiates enthusiasm, expressing that employing optical investigation techniques to study the Great Pyramid was profoundly exhilarating. He articulates that their discovery acts as a pathway to the realm of nano-optics, offering prospects for designing nanoparticles possessing extraordinary optical attributes. Through sophisticated computer modeling, they discerned that wavelengths ranging from 200 to 600 meters incited pyramid resonance, leading to an exponential surge in energy absorption. This pivotal insight unlocked the pyramid's unique faculty to concentrate electromagnetic energy within its core. The implications of their breakthrough extend beyond historical fascination, ushering in an era where revolutionary optical devices can be devised by harnessing energy at the nanoscale. Beneath a pyramid in Saqqara resides a perplexing marvel, Evidently within this location, 24 sarcophagi rest, each weighing in excess of 100 tons. These enigmatic structures were transported and concealed at some undetermined juncture in history. They enshroud mummified bulls adorned with precious jewels, and they are hewn from a solitary colossal granite block, measuring an astounding 4 meters in width, 3 meters in height, and nearly 12 meters in length. The precision of the stone craftsmanship is so astounding that it challenges belief that such meticulousness could have been achieved using rudimentary tools fashioned from rock. 
The lines etched into the stone exhibit an almost uncanny straightness. The angles are crisp and mirror one another flawlessly, and the surfaces maintain an almost absolute flatness, adhering to tolerances acknowledged in modern machining techniques. The inexplicable aspect of these creations is the immense scale they possess in relation to their intended occupants, singular bulls. This curiosity arises particularly since the pharaohs themselves were interred in diminutive sarcophagi barely accommodating their bodies. The reason for crafting these colossal boxes and their concealment deep underground remains an unsolved riddle, inviting speculation as to their true purpose and origins. In a truly captivating revelation that bridges the realms of the celestial and the earthly, researchers have unveiled the cosmic secret held within an ancient Egyptian iron bead. This exceptional find, which dates back 5,000 years and was discovered near Cairo, holds a profound connection to a meteorite's fiery embrace. Unearthed in 1911 within the Goethe Cemetery, these beads predate the renowned Iron Age, standing as a testament to the earliest utilization of iron in ancient Egypt. The presence of nickel within the metal spurred decades of scholarly discourse and conjecture. However, recent advancements in scientific analysis, leveraging cutting-edge electron microscopes and X-ray CT scanners, have definitively confirmed its otherworldly origins as iron meteorites from the celestial realm. These beads showcase an astonishing Widmanstetten pattern, a distinctive crystal arrangement that forms within asteroids during the nascent stages of the solar system's formation. This unique pattern acts as a cosmic signature etched across time. For the ancient Egyptians, iron possessed a mesmerizing allure, ascribed with magical and religious properties, a divine gift believed to be bestowed by the gods. It's worth noting that the allure of celestial materials was not limited solely to Egypt. In Germany, researchers unveiled a Buddha statue intricately carved from meteorite material, a relic dating back to the 8th to 10th centuries. This artifact stands as a testament to the cosmic artistry of our forebears. These enigmatic envoys from antiquity serve as a poignant reminder of the hidden depths that await exploration. As we unearth these mysteries from the past, we're reminded of the boundless potential for discovery that still lies ahead. Based on insights gathered from various discussions, it has been proposed that the ancient Egyptians could have potentially possessed electric lamps, predating Thomas Edison's invention of the light bulb by many centuries. Among the compelling pieces of evidence, the temple of the goddess Hathor at Dendera stands out as a repository of exquisitely preserved carvings and hieroglyphics from antiquity. One specific aspect within this temple draws particular attention. It seems to depict what can only be described as rudimentary forms of illumination. A cable is depicted running along the floor, connecting to a lotus base, which in turn is linked to a sizable glass vessel containing a filament resembling a snake. Strikingly, this portrayal bears an uncanny resemblance to a crookies tube, an apparatus utilized during the early exploration of cathode rays and electron streams. It's worth noting that a Norwegian electrical engineer was the first to identify these intriguing parallels. Additionally, the nearby inscriptions make mention of the light of the Creator God, providing corroborative weight to his hypothesis. As we delve deeper into this captivating narrative, it becomes apparent that this revelation stands as a testament to the remarkable ingenuity of ancient civilizations. Within the remnants of the Osiris Hall, dedicated to the Lord of the Underworld, perplexing carvings envelop the walls. In the worldview of ancient Egyptians, the notion that gods once walked among mortals held sway, depicting these divine beings with distinctive oval heads, a manifestation that exuded an otherworldly aura. Among these enigmatic depictions, the pharaoh Akhenaten emerges, ascending to the throne in 1352 BC. Statues portraying him distinctly reveal an abnormal elongated cranium. The intriguing question arises, did his skull undergo binding during his formative years, manipulated to acquire such an otherworldly and inhuman shape that mirrored the carvings of the creator gods? The answer remains elusive, and whether this practice was employed or not stands uncertain. 
Nevertheless, scientists contend that a unique genetic anomaly likely played a pivotal role in causing the skull to grow in such an unconventional manner. Substantiation for this theory comes from discovered remains believed to belong to Akhenaten. These remnants corroborate the idea, with the fossilized skull bearing a considerable bulbous extension at its rear. This enigma continues to captivate our curiosity, challenging us to unravel the mysteries encased within the Osiris Hall and the profound history of ancient Egypt. We've come to the end of this video, and I kindly ask for your subscription and participation via likes and comments. It's more than an encouragement. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.